The final thing we're going to look at um, on methods at the moment is um, what do we do if we want to actually have some information sent back from a method. So if we look at our trim with ellipsis method at the moment, what it does is it simply prints out the answer. OK, well, in reality, we might try and limit the um, the part of our application that um, actually sends things out to the user to the main method. And we might decide that instead of printing out the phrase, we might send the phrase back. OK, and we haven't sent back anything so far. We've been using void, which basically means the method doesn't need to uh, do anything or send anything back when it's finished. OK, but if I wanted to take the result of this phrase and store it in a string here, I might write something like string uh, trimmed phrase equals, and I'd call it, and at the moment it's going to complain and it's going to say required type string provided void. Okay, and that's because this method returns void. So you might think, okay, well, we'll just fix this, we'll change this to string. Oops. Okay, but if we do that, we'll get another complaint down here. It's going to say missing return statement. OK, so return statement is what we write when we want to send some information back to whoever has called this method. OK, so what I'm going to do instead, instead of printing it out and I've got again, I've kind of got repeated code here because I've got a print statement here and a print statement here. Instead of doing this, I'm going to return the short phrase. OK. If we get to this point, well, wherever we get to return statement, the code will stop executing. So just bear that in mind. Although we'd never go into this else statement and we get to the end of the method anyway, um, we we would, if there was more code under here, we'd never reach it. Okay, so return basically means leave the method. And if the um, if the return type is anything other than void, okay, this is the return type, you have to return something of that type. Okay. If the return type is void and you want to exit a program, uh, sorry, a method early, you can just write return followed by a um, semicolon. But if it's a type that's not void, you could return something of that type. Now, because we could go into the else statement, the method is still complaining missing return statement. OK, and that's because what could happen is the code could go, uh, the text length could be um, less than the uh, length that we've specified and it would go into the else statement. So I either need to return the text here OK, so we might do that instead. We might comment this out and we might say return text. OK, um, you might also have realized that um, if we had not gone into, if we'd got to this if statement and returned here, um, we're fine. And if we don't go into the if statement, if statement, we we're going to return text anywhere. So technically, the else part of this isn't required, because if we if we if we have exited the method with this return, we could just write return at the end. I'm not going to do that now because this is probably simply while we're learning. We'll delete our print statements. OK, and then what we could do is we could just have one print statement. And we could print our trimmed phrase. OK, so what happens here is we get our text from the user. We pass the phrase into the trim with ellipsis method along with the length. It does its work. If it needs to trim it, it trims it. It sends it back. If it hasn't needed to trim it, it sends back the original. That is then put into this trimmed phrase string and we print it out. So just to prove that it still works, we can run it. And we get our hello. OK, and similarly, if we type something short, we get our short output. OK, so here we've got a method. It has two parameters. The parameters are a string and an integer and it returns a string, OK? If you hear the term method signature, a method signature is basically the name of the method with its types, in this case, a string and an integer, and its return type. Okay, So you might hear that phrase come up from um, time to time, OK? And you must, if you've got a, if you've got a type that's returned other than void, there must be that type returned whatever flow you take through the program. So again, if I was to comment that out, it's going to complain again. It's going to say there's not a, a return statement because you could end up here and then get to the end without returning something. So they are methods that return. Um, that's a method that returns uh, a variable.